Now we come to quite a controversial subject, which is that happiness is not about money. Now I bet you're thinking, yeah, but if I had a little bit more money, I'd be happier. Well, let's really discuss this. Would you actually be happier if you had a bit more money? What would you spend it on? And would whatever you spend it on actually make you happier? I know you're still thinking yes, but let me explain this. First of all, studies have shown that if you earn over 60,000, money has no effect on your happiness at all. So people who are on more than 60K do not get any more happiness from extra money. But most of us earn less than 60K, so therefore maybe there is a link with money. And clearly, if you're starving, then money would have a huge effect. You know, if you don't have a roof over your head, then money would make you much happier. But thankfully, most of us are not at that level. But suppose you're earning 20 or 30,000, then would money make you happier? And the answer is yes, it would have a small effect on your happiness. But there are much better ways to increase your happiness than trying to get more money. There was a fascinating bit of research where they said to people on 50K, what would make you happier? And they said, if I could double my pay and earn 100, it would make me much happier. And then they asked people who are on 100k how much money would you have to earn to be happy and they said oh I'd have to double it to 200k so wherever you're at you always think that if you had more money it would make you happier for example people who win the lottery are much much happier in a very short term they have a certain amount of hedonic happiness as they party and buy themselves a Lamborghini or whatever but within a year they've returned to their previous level of happiness now why would that be and I think we can already guess that winning the lottery disturbs your life. It affects your friendships, it affects your purpose in life, what are you working towards now. It causes a big disturbance which actually reduces the amount of happiness that you get. And I've been looking at rich people. I don't know anyone who's won the lottery, but I've got quite a few friends who've made a few million pounds by selling off their companies. And I would say that my rich friends are no more happier than my normal income friends. And why would that be? And I think there are three reasons why having all that extra money doesn't make you happier. And the first one is that the price you pay outweighs the benefits. Now, if you can win the lottery, then great. That's just a whole load of extra money you weren't expecting to have. But for most of us, to have more money we have to work really hard doing a job that is perhaps unpleasant or stressful and the price we pay to work five days a week doing a job that's really tough outweighs the happiness that we get from the extra money so if you spend twice as much on your car or twice as much on bottles of wine yes you get probably 10 percent more happiness from that slightly nicer wine and from that better car but the price you pay to earn twice as much money outweighs the 10 percent increase in happiness that you get from the money that's the first reason i think that money doesn't make you happy the price you pay to earn it outweighs the benefits of the extra money. The second problem with money trying to make you happy is what's known as the hedonic treadmill. The fact that we get used to it. So when you get your fancy new car, you love it for a few weeks, but then you get used to it and it just becomes the car. And after a while, parts of that car start to irritate you. So you're back to where you were before you started. So the hedonic treadmill says that whatever we do, we get used to it and the benefits dwindle, but the price that you're paying doesn't. So now you're working extra hard to have your wine that you've got used to and your car that you've got used to. And so basically you've lost. The third reason why money doesn't make you happy is that only 20% of your happiness comes from things. 80% of your happiness comes from relationships. So earning more money gives you things, but it doesn't really help with your relationships. In fact, it probably makes your relationships worse because you're having to work longer hours, you're more stressed. And if you come into a lot of money, like winning the lottery, it really messes up your relationships because you don't know who's a friend and who just wants to know you because of your money. And your existing friends kind of resent the fact that you're rich and it makes everything a bit weird between you and them now that you're much richer than them. So if you're paying a big price to earn that money, it's going to give you things, but it's not going to help with your relationships. So that's three reasons why money won't make you happy. It disturbs your relationships. The hedonic treadmill means you get used to it anyway. But the biggest reason is the price you pay to earn the money will outweigh the happiness that you get. 
So I actually think this is good news because forget money, forget trying to find ways to make more money. The answer to happiness is to do things that you enjoy and that give you a sense of achievement. And that's a much more enjoyable way to live your life than chasing after money. So everything we're going to look at in this course is designed to make you happier and it isn't about money.